It's a beautiful day to plot. So here's something I noticed this weekend. This is in, um, Asana, which is what I use to kind of stay organized and everything. And you can see I've got ghostwriting, my own novels, and this is all under my books and ghostwriting section, right? This is where I just keep all my deadlines. So for example, I just started a new ghostwriting project and that's this right here. And I keep all of my subtasks right there. So over the weekend, I noticed that this, <laughs> this was empty. This novel section, there was nothing here because my outer half is with my editor and Kudo Kids is in copy edits and those are the only two novels I have under contract under my own name um, that are not ghostwriting projects. So this novel's space was blank. But uh, that's not true, is it? Because I have my NaNoWriMo project. Yeah, Rosa agrees. Yeah. Because I have my NaNoWriMo project, The Thing from Coney Island, and up until this point, even though I've been working at it, like picking at it mostly in the evening after I finished all my other work, um, I will be honest, since my last vlog where I said I accidentally plotted it, and I didn't fully plot it, I just like started plotting it, um, I haven't really done that much work on it. I've been playing with the log line and definitely thinking about it a lot, but I haven't really put any work into it and that was last Thursday and today that I'm filming this is Tuesday so that's not good I need to make this a priority right I definitely need to put it in my calendar so as you can see I did that I gave myself a deadline November 30th 30 30th I gave myself a deadline November 30th obviously I want to have the zero draft 50,000 words done and I'm not gonna do that if I just keep picking at this in the evening when I feel like it I know better than that um, in fact, something that I used to do is I realized that if I had a day where I prioritized the things that were under contract and therefore making me money and I did them first, I very rarely got to the may never make me money projects at all that day. The thing is, I'll always do the work that needs to be done that's under contract. I'm never going to let that stuff slide. So I don't have to do it first thing in the day. And what I what I learned back then and what I'm kind of relearning now is that I need to prioritize this. I need to do this first thing in the morning because I'm going to get all my other work done and if I have to do it in the afternoon or in the evening then so be it. Um, anyway, so it's on my calendar now. In fact, today, Tuesday, I am spending all of my time on the thing from Coney Island. I am going to get my head in it because I have started to realize that I'm bumping up against some issues after Act 1. Act 2 and Act 3 are kind of a blur in my head and I've realized it's because I haven't figured out really what my villains are all about. What are they truly up to? Specifically, what do they want? Some of them, there's more than one. I know what they want, but I don't know exactly how they're going about getting it. And some of them, I know what they're doing, but I haven't really figured out what's driving them. Um, as I've mentioned before, this is a rewrite. This is a total rewrite. It's basically a new story set in a world that I wrote a book on years ago. Um, and I, I really am, I'm, I don't mean to, but I'm still clinging to some of those old ideas in that draft. I, I find myself thinking, well, this has to happen. And then I remember it's because, well, because in the last version, the villain was doing this, but that's just not, relevant at all anymore. So I today the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my head straight around the antagonists in this book and what they are all about and how they're going about doing what they're doing. And I think after I do that a lot of this beat sheet is going to fall into place. So I will check in maybe in about an hour but let's get to work on that first. Okay, it is two hours later and I cut some darlings, made myself let go of some things that were overcomplicating the story. My biggest issue, right? 
Um, and now I've hit a point where I know what I, I need to not do, but I still don't quite know what I need to do. And it's a little bit frustrating. And for me, the best thing that I can do when I'm at this point is to close everything down and take a walk. I'm sure someone would appreciate that. Who's that? I'm going to walk. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a little walk and hopefully I'll have one of those beautiful epiphanies that we get when we actually step away from the screen for a little while and something will click. So I will be back later. So the walk did help. No like big significant epiphanies, but I really just realized as much as I thought I had let go of the old version, I really am just still clinging to so many little things that don't make sense anymore. And honestly, I don't even know why I'm clinging to them anymore. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do, because I'm still feeling a little frustrated like sitting in front of my laptop and trying to hammer this out is like trying to force it is not working for me right now so i'm gonna read for a little bit maybe even for like the rest of the afternoon and let go of the idea of plotting today and hope that what that does is like trigger some ideas and in another hour i'll be back to it um if not then i'm gonna work on this more tomorrow afternoon but um I think I'm getting closer. The more I let go of from the original version, the more room and space I'm creating for something new, specifically the antagonist. Like the protagonist side of things, the something new is already there. But I, like I said, I'm just like past the point where I can't do any more plotting until I figure out what's going on on the flip side, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna take a little time, do a little reading, Maybe I'll check back in later today, or maybe I will have to wrap this up tomorrow. We will see. All right, let's go. It is after 9 p.m. We are ready for bed, or some of us are. This is how long it took me to figure it out. I have not been working on plotting this whole time at all. I did a lot of other stuff, but you know how it is in the back of my head, I kept going over and over and over it and trying to figure out what is it I'm not getting about these antagonists. And then I took Rose on a walk, I got back, and it was just one of those out of the blue moments. I remembered in this kind of mystery plot, who did it is a reveal, but it shouldn't be as big a reveal as why they did it. What's the secret? And I had a moment where I was like, okay, well, I know who did it, but wait, why did they do it? And then I remembered, I remembered the secret at the heart of this story. It's like, it was there all along and then I, threw a bunch of other crap on top of it. I can't, it's too hard to explain without getting into detail. But yeah, I finally had the epiphany I was waiting for all day. So I feel much more clear on my antagonist's motivations now. I know what they're after. I know what this story is about. <sighs> I didn't get nearly as much plotting done today as I wanted to, but I feel like the path is a lot clearer now going forward, so. Yeah, thank you for witnessing my brain strain <laughs> for today. That was really hard. 
I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you Monday with another video. Bye.